went off this edge. Nine of them passed away. They didn't find two of the bodies. So if you guys are following along, we are on the last day of the Colorado's deadliest trails, and this is Schofield Pass. This is Colorado's deadliest trail. You may also notice that we're only in one Jeep. We had a little uh, incident with the uh, JL, but if you want to find out about that, you'll have to keep watching because we're going to go in depth and detail about what happened. <laughs> this road is doubly narrow and steep, as you can see by the sign. You guys have to be the narrators today. The narrators? Yeah. Look, mountains. You're putting a lot of pressure on it. And roads. There's a river. <laughs> I don't think they have them at this altitude. Probably not. It's cold. That water is crystal clear and as cold as it looks. <laughs> Ice water. Straight off the glacier. This is a this is a tight trail. That, this is where you get what they call the Colorado pinstripes. <laughs> okay. So this trail, it's not too difficult, but it's right on the edge with the waterfall right there. And this section right here is a whole rock course, basically. Let's see how he does this one. How was that? That was fun. <laughs> sure is pretty out here. I think this is the prettiest trail that we've done yet. So many flowers. There's even what looks like pastures up there. Waterfalls everywhere, river, so neat out here. It's getting steeper. You see that washout right back there? I did. That, that's not cool. <laughs> and we're doing it, we're doing it like champs because we couldn't get anybody to come wheel with us. Everybody <laughs> flaked out. Some parts of this trail get real narrow and you're up against the wall here and then this tire is kind of dips down into a washout and the rocks are kind of like that down the hill. Not super technical or challenging but just kind of a long way down. Oh look at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Visibility is very minimal in that thing. <laughs> I was like, I'm not keeping that on any longer. <laughs> we cut caught <cod> enough. <laughs> I feel like a mountain goat. It's 
not supposed to rain till 6 p.m. but the weather's picking up all right here's a pinch point right here looks like he's gonna have to get real close to this wall real close to this ledge and it kind of slides off right here So this spot right here, back in the 1970, is where a person from Illinois came up. They had 12 people in their vehicle that came in a rainstorm the day after my dad got was here and wheeled it. And they went off the edge right here, went off this edge, nine of them, nine of them passed away. They didn't find two of the bodies and the driver survived. The driver was one of the three people that survived. And that's why this is Colorado's deadliest trail. Yeah, they call that the devil's punch bowl. And it's way down there, huge waterfall, and a big giant swimming hole right below that. Although I think you'd be crazy to swim in it, being that this is all ice water. <laughs> Look at that. I'm bleeping Colt's dad. I first crossed this in my stock 65 CJ5 on the 4th of July weekend, 1970. The bridge itself looked unsafe on top, but fairly structural underneath. I decided to try to cross it, made it across slowly, and it was quite scary. My other friends in the party had a 66 Bronco. I was asked to drive the Bronco across since I'd driven my Jeep across. I started to cross slowly, got about the length of the Bronco, and one wheel fell through the boards, so I backed off. There was a fairly steep grade going down to the river, and so we traversed the other vehicles down that. They replaced that bridge a couple years later. Oh, I think I'm stuck. I'm too old for these kind of poses. Ah. So Schofield Pass was made in 1883 with wagon trucks, and they came across from Crested Butte to Crystal Marble, and this is the road that they actually made to do it. Now in 1970, when my dad went to do this bridge, it was not like this, it had actually blown out. And because they couldn't drop in right here, the Jeeps actually drove down right there, crossed the river, and came up right here. That's crazy. tunnel right there we're gonna uh, park and walk down to it looks like it's about to fall in though so that looks a little uh, a little crazy there's a bit of a stinky smell over here and I think Colt just found something gross a dead moose that must have got caught in an avalanche and that's what's left of it oh uh, yeah gross that is disgusting. Yeah, all over it. That's where all the flies are, have been coming from. Yes. That's what they're eating, feeding off of. We've been fighting horse flies. Turns out they were moose flies. That is rad. That is actually Colorado's worst four-wheeling accident at one time. So even though people think that black bear is most dangerous, this is the deadliest trail in Colorado. <laughs> that doesn't feel, that's not cool, not even a little bit. <laughs> She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. 
So we watched the weather report. It was supposed to rain in the afternoon. It's definitely hitting about three hours earlier than it was supposed to, but we still made sure that we got down past Devil's Punch Bowl before it hit. <laughs> Colorado rain is cold. Very cold, mountain cold. I guess it's almost freezing up there. It just makes the rain cold. Are you chilly? You want me to keep you warm? <laughs> Hope we'll do that. <laughs> You find your raspberries? I got my raspberries. Everybody wants some raspberries. All right. <laughs> ghost town of Crystal and that is a KTM that is a KTM the town of Crystal has eight people that live in it eight months out of the year before they get out of here, but they're thinking about making it year round. And they work here, and then they go back down once every couple weeks to go get groceries and food. That's nice. At the store in Crystal, you gotta pay $10 a person and sign a waiver now to be able to come down here to the mill. But that's okay, because they work on it to keep it together. It gets a lot of, a lot of nasty weather that comes through here. Big rainstorms, big snowstorms. So it's well, I'm willing to donate 20 bucks for Shannon and I to be able to come down here and actually see this up close. Every single calendar that has Colorado in it has this mill on it, just about, just about. This is the crystal mill. It's on the marble side of Schofield Pass, the marble side of Lead King Basin. They told us we could swim in the water as long as we stayed on this side of the mill. We had to talk Matt to swim without his socks on though. see you take a bite of that. I'll be okay. Check this out. We're standing on Marble. In the town of Marble. On Quarry Road. <laughs> Next to a marble mine. With the old marble mill site. <laughs> There's marble in the water. Looks like maybe the bridge used to be made of marble. At one point. Maybe that's not good bridge making material. Better for cornerstones and countertops. <laughs> this is where the marble mine starts. Look at that. Look at the cool colors in that cut. Where the water comes down through this valley, it's lined with marble here. Uh, in 1922, the town of Marble actually supplied the marble for the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, pretty 
cool, especially because my grandpa was a gold miner in Cripple Creek. But we came across this little sign that says Gus, 1929 to 2005. Yeah. And what does it say? He welded everything but broke hearts. <laughs> so this is the Marble Gallery. We're getting ready to walk down and check out some artists actually sculpting marble right now. How long have you been doing this? Um, about 16 years. 16 years? Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. I actually majored in illustration in college. Really? So, yeah, drawing. So I just kind of illustrate in stone. All right, guys, so that's it for the Colorado's Deadliest Trails. If you think there's a deadlier one here, make sure you let us know in the comments below. If there's another state that has deadly trails, make sure you let us know that too. All right, check out these videos as well, and we'll see you guys in our next adventure. That way. That way? Yeah. That way. That way. Yeah, yeah. not that way, that way. All right, thanks for watching. Dorks. <laughs> the cute dorks. <laughs> Can we so cute?